Hey you guys, welcome back. I'm talking with David Brandt, and I wanted to spend some time talking about his his artwork and sort of the passions um, that he has in that field, sort of outside of his day to day profession. And so let's let's talk a bit about that. I mean, you you do fine art as well as all of the illustration and um, animation that you do for a living. And where do you where do you see that going, or where do you hope to take that, or what's the what rolls around in well, your mind? Well, I I think that. Um, you know, animation is a good way to make money now, but there's, there's um, young people that are willing to put more hours and get paid less than me. And, and also, there's a new program out to learn every year. And it, as we all know, our parents have trouble with email. <laughs> and so I, as I get older, I expect that new programs are gonna be difficult. I would, I just wanna, you know, work on my fine art mm -hmm. in, until I get old. Until you get old. Yeah, well, and past then. You know, yeah. You know, and, and, and I see it as a dra gradual transition from this, this busy, hectic um, commercial world to, to, doing, to doing the, f the fine art. Mm -hmm. you, know, the, you, you can't just step in. You can't just say, I'm done with commercial work and I'm going to do fine art because fine art takes forever to get anywhere in yeah in, in and very few really ever break into it i mean it's well yeah it yeah very few and get get where they make a lot of money at it and and it's yeah it, it you'd probably have a better chance of winning a lottery to be honest there's more lottery winners every i mean there's one every week yeah there's not one successful artist that's starting to make millions every week you yeah know? yeah but um God, I didn't realize, and I didn't. That's the first time I realized what how dismal my chances are. Well, don't think about it. That no, way. no, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, the the reason I do it is because because I enjoy You're doing. About it. Yeah, 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 and and that has. I've always been that way, you know, and I don't see that going going mm -hmm. away. Like with your artwork, would who would who would be like sort of the the target audience or maybe the person like would they be buying something to hang it in their home would they be what what would they be purchasing your art for do you think like your fine art well I, I, I hope they would hang it in their home yeah yeah I mean they're not gonna buy it for an investment I it, you know no one should buy art for investment they would have to have millions of dollars you know um, there are some people that uh, have bought art for cheap and have made millions on it um, but they didn't go into the intention of making money at mm -hmm. it because you gotta you know that's it's easier to pick a better stock than it is to gonna be pick an artist that's gonna be worth a lot of money yeah and um, so you really should you really should buy art if it's something you like and and that's that's what I that's what I want yeah. people to do with my art with yours yeah yeah What's your favorite piece of art that you've done, that you've created? Well, I did this. Do you this, have one? Well, you know, I've done a lot, I suppose, that I've liked for various reasons. Usually I like the p pieces that other people like, you know, because it, you know, it's a feel-good thing. Feels good. Yeah, and I, I did this piece that a good friend of mine bought, you know, it's like, um, and he paid full price for it without asking questions. I mean, <laughs> really, I feel like I'm still in debt to him for doing that, but... Uh, it's uh, it's called the clearing. You'll see it on my website. Okay. So, um, is it hard to part with you know some of some of the work that some of these artists, um, you know, they'll tell me sort of the behind the scenes story of how that piece of art got created, and I'm like, well, that's wasn't that hard to part with that? Hmm. And yeah, you know, sometimes I get varying answers. So I wanted to get yours. Yeah. Um, I suppose it is. It, I suppose it is. Um, you know, I guess it might depend on how much you got paid for it. Because a lot of times you're going to be selling paintings for a lot less than it than than your time is worth. Right. Right. I mean, right. it's rare that you're going to actually make a decent wage per hour. You know, on your art. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, you, so you're almost like you're giving it away for for just sort of it. 
you, you pay me as just sort of a token of appreciation. A token of appreciation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> an interesting way to put it. All right. Well, and on that, we're going to go ahead and close up. Okay. David, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you. All right. You guys, thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on Localite. John Compton here saying thanks again for watching. And remember, if you've got a guest idea, let us know. Just visit localite.com.